All right, YouTubers and subscribers and fans alike, Binchy Owl's back on part four from Eurotuning.com's orders for our Patreon built VR6 Turbo Jetta. So let's get to work because this is Binchy Owl's Garage. We got one, but two identical boxes. Same size all around. I think I know what's in this one. This one's like really light, but it has like metal sounds coming out of it. This one's stupid heavy. It's already like partially broken open. You guys can see this. So I'm probably gonna open the really heavy box and then this guy. But before we go any further, this is a good time in the video to pretty much segue over to our sponsor, Euro Tuning. So, let's, sh without further ado, let's roll that sweet footage. Ah, oh, you son of a biscuit eating bulldog. All I wanted you to do is turn your lit liquor. <sighs> Broken car, try Eurotuning.com. Thanks, Eurotuning.com. Fabulous. For a good, proper repair, no matter what, Eurotuning.com. Eurotuning will not turn your 1.8T into a VR6. It's just the magic of Pinchy Al's garage and his editing work. Eurotuning is not responsible for the quality of the work of choice in cars. Thank you for watching Pinchy Al's garage. So, back now from the word from our sponsor now we're gonna open up a box this one's already pretty much partially opened up so we're gonna open up this guy first this guy's light as all heck so. <laughs> a trusty box cutter that I've been using the last three four videos wow that's just wow all right Paper! Woo! <laughs> More paper! <laughs> oh, oh! I don't know if you guys see that. I don't know if you guys see this yet. Woo! Spec! We got us. Oh, the clutch and flywheel are in this one. Okay, cool. Ah, that's what I was wondering why it's so heavy. Because I, I knew I, it was heavy, but I, didn't, I thought there was more in it. We went a little gnarly on the clutch. Uh, we went to a full stage three clutch on this guy. And we went to a stage three endurance. Since this car is gonna be doing not, um, what's the word? Uh, we're not gonna be doing any drag racing in it. We're gonna be doing autocross and some road racing and some canyon runs in it. So, we need to have a clutch that can hold up to heat. And long, ooh, that's a flywheel. We got a billet uh, nine pound flywheel. And it already comes with all the hardware in it. Dope. Yeah, so we went with a full billet flywheel. Super, super light, nine pounds. I mean, I can hold it, I can hold it flat. That's how gnarly light this thing is. Dope. Very, very dope. Oh, exciting. Um, we're not going to use the hardware provided. Uh, we ordered ARP hardware. Since we're going to be pushing this card pretty hard, I want forged uh, hardware on this flywheel. So hopefully that came in this box. We'll see. This is, this is for sure the clutch. That was the clutch and pressure plate. It is so cold up here in Ramona. It's ridiculous. All right. Another sticker and instruction manual. There's that beautiful clutch with the alignment tool. I mean, pressure plate. This is the pressure plate. I'm sorry. 
I'm gonna open this one up. There's the clutch. And with the six puck endurance um, stage three clutch, this thing is gnarly. Yeah, buddy. This is definitely gonna hold. <laughs> uh, this is a sprung clutch pr uh, pressure plate, so it's gonna be hard. I'm gonna tell you this, guys. So whoever wins this wins this car, okay? So whoever gets this car is gonna have a hell of a time <laughs> driving this thing. I'm just telling you that right now. Um, pretty much anything after a stage two. The actual um, plate pressure plate material uh, gets harder and harder and harder to push down. Uh, the reason why for this, you need more gripping force to hold the clutch in place. So this clutch is meant to hold up to 600 plus horsepower and I don't know how many pounds of torque, but yeah, uh, I'm pretty happy with this one. So pretty dope. They give you a brand new throw out bearing and an alignment tool. Pretty straightforward, industry standard clutch uh, stuff, pretty much. Got this on here. This over here. Put the view on top. Dope, dope, dope. We're gonna have a really cool Instagram and Facebook shot for later. I won't be sharing this for another week. Only you guys, only my patrons get to enjoy this now versus everybody else later. Uh, you guys aren't Patreons. Well, you guys have to wait. Like that. Now, on to the next box. All right. We are back for the next box. This one, a little bit broken open, but not too bad. Let's bust this guy open here. Again, it opens up with a bunch of paper. The packing from Eurotuning.com on this stuff is phenomenal. I'm just telling you guys this right now. I mean, they packed the crap out of this. I don't know what that is. That's a blue box. I am actually very curious on what this is. I don't know what this is either. What? Oh! Oh, I know what this is. This is not from what I bought. I didn't buy any of that. I did buy one of these, or two of them actually. These are our Sparco three-point harnesses. They showed up in one box. User manual. Uh, is that good? Oh, it's for the lap. But yeah. So we got our three-point harness. I don't. I think this is a Sparco steering wheel adapter. I don't know what that is. I did not order that. Um, but. This is our three-point harness for our car. Here. Actually, it's only one of the three-point harnesses. We're missing one more. Okay. So my favorite thing about this is because this one has a buckle in the back and a buckle in the front. And then we mount these to the floor appropriately. We anchor them. Okay. And that's what these hooks are for here. You see these? All right. And then this guy right here. This right here. Now it depends on where we're gonna mount these. 
Now they give you these adapters here, this hardware here, so you can mount it to the rear seat belt uh, on the wall. Okay, so on some cars you can mount this on the rear seat belt or you can mount it on a harness bar. So you wrap it around and you tighten it down and you strap it and lock it in place. Um, depending on how we pretty much, uh, when we get the cage in, because we did buy a roll cage for the car, um, depending on how that comes in and how that mounts and everything, uh, that will determine pretty much the style or the way that we're going to be mounting everything in place. These are a killer deal for what they are. Um, these are 150 bucks a pop, and they just this is this is great. You have a you have a mold, two points of actual detachment, and then you have two anchors, just in case you want to do an easy pull uh, swap out like that. And you anchor these to the ground. You don't anchor them to your seat. So for all you guys who um, anchor these to like a seat, that's the wrong way of anchoring these. You have to put them to the ground. Why they sent me this? They sent me buttons. I'm very curious about these buttons. I think it was a mix up. Yeah, it's just a it's just a button. It's a steering wheel button. It's for NAS, buddy. <laughs> they sent me some NAS buttons. <laughs> That's funny. These are my boost buttons here. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't order this, just FYI. Um, I gotta hit them up and be like, hey, uh, you sent me uh, some NOS buttons. <laughs> I have no use for this at all. <laughs> They're funny though. But, and manual for Sparco. Tells you how to mount them. Gives you full instructions on how to install your actual seat belts. So, when you see here, oh, there you go. We want you to anchor them to the pretty much the factory pillar in the back. And then you anchor them to the ground. Okay? It's one of the safest way of doing it. So, there it is right there and how these get installed but we're gonna walk you guys through the whole entire procedure when we actually start installing these because our seats are gonna go get upholstered and our seats are gonna be pretty much um, once we get the seats done and we'll walk you through the entire um, install process um, we need these because you cannot just use general um, seat belts when you uh, uh, autocross or you can use basic seat belts with like factory cars or some other type of cars but if we're going to do any type of competing or any type of just uh, ranked racing we have to actually have proper safety equipment in the car and that right there everybody is pretty much our unboxing today from our big sponsors from Eurotuning.com i uh, got to give a huge huge shout out to Alan uh, pretty much my customer service rep from there. If you guys don't know him, look for him on Instagram, A-L-E-N underscore Eurotuning. Hit him up, send him a big old shout out to him. Hey, thanks for getting all the equipment for being Chow and the Patreon car. I'd love for you guys to just tag him on everything and just send him super like cool, nice comments. It'd be great for us because I'm very, very grateful to him. For getting all this stuff and you know me bugging the credit of them every single day to get this equipment out as fast as possible because we got a lot of stuff to do to get this car done you know and i'm just a one-man army here right again thank you for watching this everybody here at pinchao's garage peace out deuces and as always here we're gonna break we're gonna fix and we're gonna repeat and thanks for watching pinchao's garage